if you want, I did this about two months ago before I started this daily tech thing. But if you want to, and I was going to make a video about it, but I didn't, but here we are now. If you want to scrub your personal info from the internet, this article, this publication will show you how to do it. Now, again, I did it uh, a couple months ago and it's freaking awesome. You're going to love it. So if you don't want your name out there on the internet, if you don't want somebody to search your name and see an arrest record, now this won't clear the, uh, actually, will it? I don't think it'll clear the records. It just wipes your name from the internet, basically. There's a feature in Google search that allows you to remove your, your phone, your personal phone number or business phone number, email and home address from the search page. Now, so what they're saying is it'll take all your information off of Google search. So I guess technically, could you find somebody or could your info be on bing.com or Yahoo? I guess so, but who uses that? I mean, I know a few people do, but everybody uses Google. Even iPhone users use Google. So um, this is, trust me, you're gonna wanna do this. Uh, I'll link this in the article, I mean, in the description box and it will show you how to do it. It only takes like, it only takes like a, a minute or two, very easy. And trust me, it's well worth your time, especially let's say you have something you're not proud of in the past and it always pops up and you're embarrassed by it. Go run this thing and it'll wipe it off of the Google search. So nobody will see any personal details about you if you want it that way. So, okay, so there we are. So after uh, you run the operation from scrubbing your data off of google searches let's do a google search of my name and uh, see what comes up let's test it out here i'm in google search went ahead and searched my name now again this is after i removed i put in the request to google search to remove uh my name my phone number address all the personal info off of Google. So if somebody searches my name like like uh, we got right here, that is not me. That's somebody else uh, in New York City. LinkedIn, that is not me. They're in Boston. I'm in Texas. I do have a girl's name, so I mean, whatever. But as you can tell, uh, mostly girls. It looks like one girl that pops up. That's not me. Uh, that is definitely not me. That's not me. Now, let's take it. And there's YouTube. Nothing comes up. Nothing comes up. Nothing comes up. Not me. Not me, not me, not me, not me. So let's do this. Uh, not me. Let's let's try. F uh, that is definitely not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. So it looks so far. It looks like it worked. Now, let's go to IMDb. Definitely not me. That is not, I'm not, not a PhD. I don't have a PhD. Uh, that's not me. Okay. So far. Um, it's kind of weird Googling your own name because a bunch of people pop up with your same name. Let's take it one step further. Let's go to images and see if any images pop up of myself. So far, just girls. Looks like this one girl in New York. There's a guy. There's another guy. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. So it looks like it works. It'll scrub your personal info. It'll also scrub photos because photos are associated and are tagged basically with your name. So not only will you scrub the Google search results of and erase all of your personal info, like your name, your phone number, your home address, your email address, it looks like it'll also scrub photos 
that is in your name as well. That that's tagged or associated with you. Yeah, definitely not me. Sorry. Definitely not me. Okay, so let's take it even one step further. Let's go. Let's do the state I'm in. Let's see what comes up. Bunch of girls. Bunch of girls. Not me, though. Oh, wait, I'm in photos. Let's go to all. Sorry. I'm not in Houston. That's not me. I'm not an attorney. Back group. I do not work at the back group. Holmes, firm, PC. That is not me. That's definitely not me. So, wow. So, it looks like it's worked. Um, tech, I did not go to Texas Tech. Not Lubbock. Um... Uh oh, do we find one? That's in Houston. I'm not in Houston. This one actually you know what? Let's let's try this and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. This might be me. Let's see. Uh, block notifications, cross that out, all right, 39, no, 46, no, I'm 41, so if you see a Taylor Bell 41, and here, look, I'll show you what to do, check this out, so let's say, let's just assume my name is on there, right, let's back out of this, so here's what you do. If you find a result that has your name uh, or any personal info or you click on it and you, oh, yeah, that's my info, here's what you do. In the search results, how you how you searched your name right here, what you can do is hit this three-dot menu. And is it on desktop or is it only is it only on desktop or is it on mobile? Let's see... Um, do, 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 do. I don't think that was me, but let me show you how to do it on, uh, on desktop. Hang on. Okay. So I found out what the deal was. The reason why I couldn't see it on my mobile is because check it out. When you click the three dot menu and you have your name in here, this is the same result we got on the, on mobile, right? So look at this. I found out why. Because normally, when you see your name, this is not me, but let's say it was, right? I click on the three-dot menu, and look, remove result. But hang on, this is why the first one did not have it. Because the first one is a sponsored ad. You can't remove search results on a sponsored ad. Only, you see where it says sponsored, and then down here, there's no, there's nothing. Well, this was a, somebody paid for advertising for this, and it's on Google search. See, I'm on google.com. But, let's say your name is right here, right? Let's say this was, was me. So, what you do is, after you search your name, actually, let's do this. Hang on. Okay, so what I did was, I put in uh, my name, and my city, and my address. Here's the sponsored results, so you cannot do anything with those. But let's say this right here, you want to remove that, right? So here's what you do. You go to, this is not a sponsored result. This is a real result. So what, is, so what you do is click the three-dot menu. You go over here and you hit remove result. Now they're going to ask you, why do you want to remove this result? It shows my personal, you have these options to choose from. It shows my personal contact info. It shows my contact info with an intent to harm me. It shows other personal info. It contains illegal info or it's outdated, right? So on that one, which 
possibly might be me. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it under... It is outdated. Well, let's choose this and see what it says. This result shows other kind... Shows another kind of personal info that I want removed. This result doesn't reflect what's currently on the web page. Let's click that. And it takes you here. Well, let's not do that. Let's do this. It shows my personal info. Let's put my name. It says phone number. And then I'll simply type in my phone number. Hit continue. And then it basically gives you a send request. And then it'll it'll remove it. Um, I've d I did that with all the other ones. Um, this one might have just slipped through the cracks. But you do get to see how you get to remove it. Um, let's see, all of my removal requests, you can see here, reviewed, all requests. So look, that one was denied. Interesting. Maybe I had put in the wrong, oh, it doesn't meet policy requirements. So if you put, uh, it shows the wrong number and you type in the number, but it actually doesn't show the number, you just put that... So try to be as accurate as possible. Don't, you know, because if you're not accurate, you'll get this. So I'm going to have to go back, see where it was not, why it was not removed, and then put a new submittal, uh, submit request in, and it should get removed. So just try to be as accurate as possible. and Because they're going to ask why. Why do you want us to remove it? And if you say, oh, it shows my phone number... But then, because I think it'll actually scrub the web page for your info, because that's why you're putting it in. And if they scrub the, that web page and there's no phone number on there, which is why you requested the removal in the first place, you'll get a denial. Uh, I think that's what happened here. So what I'll do is I'll go back and request it again with more accurate information as to why I want it removed, and then they'll remove it. But I got a ton of stuff. As you can tell, um, we just scrub, we just searched my name and nothing came up. Absolutely nothing. Now that one did. But I think I got, um, look at that, 31 records were removed with my address, email, and phone number. 31 records were removed from the internet. That's amazing. And there was just one left over, but we just we just put a, sub, a submittal in to remove it right now. So, uh, very cool stuff. Uh, all you do is go to your Google search, search your name, and, or try to get it as accurate as possible, search your name. And then um, hit those three dot menus and then put a request in to remove it. And that's it. And it takes about a day. It takes about 24 hours and then all your stuff will be removed from the internet. So now you see how to do it. All right. Peace.